Last time out, we kept our unbeaten run to 12 games and we managed to just hang on dearly to that top spot on the Premier League. Can we get through to the quarterfinals of the Caribou Cup and keep it up at the top of the Premier League today? Let's go and find out. Hello and welcome to episode 56 of Irons in the Fire as we try and make West Ham good and great again. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games, a Caribou Cup fourth round tie against Everton at Bramley Dock and then we uh, welcome Newcastle United to the, uh, the uh, London Stadium for Premier League match day 10. And uh, well, it's uh, not nothing been happening since you were last excuse me, last with us. Um, we've not played any games at all. Uh, we've stayed as we were. So a quick flick onto this screen um, and uh, have a look. We'll change cameras as well because we like to do things like that. Um, yeah, it's a Catafe, a 3-1 win in the Champions League league phase and then uh, a 1-1 draw against Manchester United. Really should have won that and really annoyed, but keeps our uh, unbeaten run going. Uh, 12 games in total in all uh, things. We've only lost once in the Premier League this season. In fact, um, I think, if my memory serves me right, we've only lost once in this uh, in the Premier League this calendar year as we get towards the end of October. In fact, we'll be breaking into November when we uh, go to play Newcastle. So um, long may that continue. Um, Premier League, I think there was games still to be played uh, before before we finished up the last episode so we'll recap those games that were played is Chelsea beat Arsenal by a goal to nil did us a favour thank you very much Chelsea and Crystal Palace beating Sunderland by a goal to nil so the top of the table at the start of the episode looks like this four teams on 20 points we lead those four uh, on goal difference Aston Villa and Manchester United and Newcastle our second opponents of the uh, episode today are there Everybody has won six games, drawn two, lost one, and it's just literally by the uh, goal difference that everybody is in. There's a two-point gap then to Arsenal in fifth place, um, a three-point gap to Crystal Palace in sixth, and Chelsea in seventh, and then Manchester City just outside of those uh, European places in eighth place, uh, five points adrift of the top here. Uh, then come Tottenham and Leeds. And then Nottingham Forest, Leicester and Bournemouth in the drop zone. 4-4-1, four, four uh, a two-point gap between Nottingham Forest and Norwich City as it stands. Uh, do we have a full complement? We have uh, games going on today right the way through to Monday. Nottingham Forest playing Everton on Monday. Um, and uh, we play on Sunday as it turns out. So uh, a lot of games being played. So we will drop from the top, I suspect. Before we get there, Aston Villa playing Manchester City. That's going to be a real humdinger of a game if there was one. Uh, before we continue, don't forget, if you do enjoy today's episode, leave me that big things up, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the series, let me know what you'd like uh, me to do uh, next, because obviously uh, when we get to the end of this uh, season in-game, uh, we're going to change uh, to a different series. So let me know what you'd like to see come up uh, next in the series and don't forget you can follow everything that's happening on this channel by uh, following me on x formerly known as twitter at just offside two that's uh, how you do it right i think it's time to get straight into the games then uh everton at uh, bramley dock for the caribou cup fourth round a fifth round tie to come and a draw if we can get through this so nana is out with a hip injury for everton uh archie gay is cut Gray is cup tied and Parisi is out with a twisted ankle. They are our two uh, players not with us. Uh, we've played uh, Everton four times this series so far. Um, we have beaten them 2-1 and 3-1 at uh, Goodson Park as it was. First time at Bramley Dock, so we'll see how we get on. 
uh, beat them at the London Stadium 7-0. Uh, but last season, lost to them 3-2 in the Premier League. So uh, yet to play them this season in the Premier League. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't good last season. So uh, we hope to achieve that. Just checking on Parisi. Uh, he's out for another three, nine days to three weeks uh, with that twisted ankle. So hopefully he will be back very, very soon. Ollie Watkins, uh, Thomas, Trot and Samadich all back uh, from recent injuries as well. Right, without any more to do, let's have a look at the team that faces Everton for this Caribou Cup fourth round tie. And here is the team that faces Everton in this uh, fourth round tie. Uh, Trubin makes a cup goalkeeper um, appearance in goal. Um, he might get some game time in the uh, Premier League if he does well today. Emerson, Todibo, Upper Meccano and Wagnerman are defensive line. Lucas Parquetta, uh, Vitic and Ward Prowse in midfield. Kudos is behind Kerr who gets a start. He's been doing so well. Uh, we've given him a start today. Let's hope he can perform. Uh, he's alongside Watkins up front. And then on the bench, we have Mazulia, Sufal, Gomez, Zuma, Kahara, Samadich, Bowen, Abraham and Chalaga. And here we are at Bramley Dock. First time we've played here. And they are playing a 4-2-3-1 today. We're playing our usual formation. Seven minutes on and it's a throw in for Wagenman and it's uh, over the top from uh, Brett Kerr. They have a throw in on the far side, Patterson. With the throw in, Kerr in attendance. Didn't manage to get there. It's crossed deep, though. Ooh, McNeil heads it over the top. It was close. A bit too close, really, for comfort. Patterson hanging it up. And uh, luckily hit the woodwork. Up at Meccano, 30 minutes on the clock to Toddybo. Toddybo finds Paqueta. Back to Toddybo. Fires that one forward, and it's a mismatch. And McNeil comes forward. He's got it through. He's got the Beto. And Trubin is beaten. Third goal of the season from Beto. And uh, beat us on the counter. And maybe Trubin won't be taking over from Mazulia in goal. And half time's come. We've not done anything or hardly anything in this uh, first half. Uh, four shots, one on target, 0 0.37, 58% of the possession. They've had six shots, two on target, 0.85 and 42% of the possession. Uh, they have a 1-0 lead uh, after 31 minutes and uh, we need to get back into this game. And they come forward again, but uh, Quetta, I think, stopping that one. Toddy Boat. Now it's Upper Meccano out there. Upper Meccano, what's he going to do? He's got Wall Prowse in front of him. Wall Prowse, kudos. We need to get back on terms fairly urgently. Wagnerman, 55 on the clock. Vitic in midfield. Vitic finds Paqueta. Paqueta throw. Watkins. But, oh, he's come off the inside of the post. I was guaranteed that when Watkins got this, that he was putting this away. Oh, dearie me. And with 55 minutes on the clock, making two changes. Uh, Mohamed Kudos is off. Samadich is on. Uh, and we have taken off Ollie Watkins and brought on Tammy Abraham. Bagnerman with a throw in on that far side. Defensive throw in. Upper Meccano. Vitic. Paqueta. Paqueta. Punts one over the top. Abraham is going to run onto it. He's come on. He's crossed it in for Kerr. And Kerr gets his first goal for us. And his first goal for West Ham on 61 minutes. We go one up. Sorry, we've dropped leveled 1-1. One, one. They've made a change as well, so we need to check that out in a moment. Sassignon couldn't get there. Abraham did. Crossed it in. Brent Kerr puts it away for his first ever goal. They have a free kick, 63. Johnson 
who's come on. Oh, dearie me, and Beto's at it again. Uh, but question whether he was offside. Trubin remonstrating. It's gone to VAR. And we can only hope now it's been awarded. And we go 2-1 down. Uh, Beto was onside. And with 66 on the clock, made two more changes. Wagner man is off. Joe Gomez is on. And we've taken off Ward Prowse and brought on Zuma. Samadich with a corner out. Swinger. It's gone in. Kurt Zuma who's just come on. Second goal of the season. Levels it again after 68. Topsy turvy game. Samadich. Zuma. Samadich with a free kick on that far side. It's swung in up and Meccano cuts it back. And uh, Toddy Bowe's gone in, whether he was offside or not. And uh, VAR looking at this one. Have we taken the lead? Yes, we have. And uh, finally getting our noses in front for the first time. Well, not for the first time, second time. <laughs> Toddy Bowe gets it away. And with 81 minutes on the clock, our final change Filo Carrera comes on for Martin Vidic. Samadich with the corner on the other side now. It's a long one, but the goalkeeper Pickford collects. Pickford fires one long. Up on Meccano. Tidies up, though. Gomez. Gomez on that far side. Gomez comes forward. Gomez crosses it in. It's uh, not... Uh, it's pulled down. Gomez! Ooh, and a save by Pickford from Kerr, who's looking for his second of the game. Gone for a corner. Samadich with an outswinger from this left-hand side. He's winding down the clock. I don't know why. Deep, but Pickford gets that again. Headed out, Kerr tumbling gomez threads it in kerr on target but uh, pickford getting a hand to it 86 on the clock now sessignon long staff i think they made a change just checked they haven't godfrey out to johnson back to godfrey godfrey threads that one forward but uh, trubin will be able to pick that one up 87 on the clock now. Highlight continues. Trubin punts one forward. Oh, Samadich is in. Oh, he's come back off the woodwork. Samadich looked like he'd squeezed that one in. Toddy Boat, Zuma, still alive. Zuma, Abraham, Paqueta. He's given the ball away and counter attack underway. Gomez on that far side. 89 minutes on the clock. Samadich is brought down and there's going to be a yellow card here or something going on. Is there a check for penalty? I don't think it was in the penalty area. And it's all over. We've managed to squeeze past Everton. 3-2. What a topsy-turvy game that was. 15 shots, 8 on target. 3.13. 59% of the possession. They had 10 shots, 4 on target. 1.50. And 41% of the possession. They were feisty opposition. Well, after the comeback of all comebacks, uh, we've uh, managed to get ourselves into the draw for the quarterfinals and uh, I thought to uh, round up on the other results. Manchester United, the holders, of course, knocked out in the previous round. Queen's Park Rangers then beaten Bournemouth by two goals to one. Um, two goals up in that one and uh, Bournemouth, all they could do was get a consolation after 18 minutes. Uh, we beat Everton, of course, uh, despite Beto's uh, best efforts. Uh, Milton Keynes Dons, they are a League One side. Uh, they have beaten Oxford United by three goals to nil. And Manchester City getting past Newcastle by two goals to one. That was Tuesday's games, Wednesday's games. Tottenham beating Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Alvarez after 27. Uh, Liverpool beating Nottingham Forest 3 1. Nottingham Forest took the lead after seven. Uh, but uh, Liverpool just too dominant for them. Uh, Gakpo getting two goals 
Lookman uh, from the penalty spot. Five minutes into the uh, injury time at the end of the game, wins that one. Norwich, a narrow a win, 84 minutes, uh, beating Plymouth. Uh, the victors over Manchester United in round three. Uh, so they go no further, but they've had a good run. Norwich then through to the quarterfinals and Leicester beating uh, Ipswich, uh, it's Ipswich? Uh, Swindon Town by three goals to nil. Jota, Daka and Manu's the scorers there. So we will come back shortly, I think, for the draw for the uh, quarterfinals. And ahead of the draw for the quarterfinal of the Caribou Cup. Uh, just thought I'd let you know, Lucas Paqueta is on his way out. He will go in January. Transfer window, El Itiad have uh, come in and bought him. Uh, they have paid uh, £42 million. I think it was £42 million, How much? Oh, no, sorry, £48.5 million, £42 million of which goes into the pot. Um, I presume. Has it gone in there already? It may well have done. Um so 61 million in the bank as it stands. We are looking at a replacement for him. Morton Helmond uh, is the uh, candidate. Um, he can play in that defensive midfield as a ball when he looks like he could be quite strong for us. Um, we were after Fragioli, but uh, to be honest, Fragioli not really wanting to entertain. He couldn't agree a deal with him and then uh, he's uh, fobbed us away since then. So Helmond... Looks like he could be the incoming um, currently at Sporting uh, Club Portugal. Uh, we'll see. I'll let you know as soon as that has uh, been done. Uh, as soon as it is a done deal, I'll let you know. So without any more to do, let's have the draw for the uh, Caribou Cup. Um, if we go back into there, that's what I want. The Caribou Cup draw. Um Eight teams for four games. Um, obviously, Manchester City, Liverpool and Milton Keynes Dons in the draw besides ourselves. Let's go and have a look at the draw then. And here we are, draw underway. And uh, the teams in the pot, Leicester, Liverpool, Manchester City, Milton Keynes Dons, Norwich, Queen's Park Rangers, Tottenham and ourselves. Right, who's going to be first out? Tottenham. I we'll want to try and avoid them if we can, especially at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Milton Keynes Dons have got them. So Tottenham versus Milton Keynes Dons. Queen's Park Rangers are out next. And they will play Manchester City. Good money tie that. So still Leicester, Norwich and Liverpool. Don't really want Liverpool. Please, not Liverpool. We are out. We are at home. That's a bonus. Who will we play? We're going to play Leicester. We're playing Leicester, which means Norwich will play Liverpool, who will be at home. Norwich at home to Liverpool. That is the draw then for the quarterfinals of the Caribou Cup. Can we get through to the semi final? In fact, can we get through to the final? Tottenham will play Milton Keynes Dons. Queen's Park Rangers will play Manchester City. You've got to fancy Tottenham and Manchester City there. West Ham will play Leicester and Norwich will play Liverpool. Let's go and have a look at how that fits in the schedule. Well, there we are. It's a little way off yet uh, into the deepest, deepest, darkest depths of um, December. Uh, we play Leicester. In fact, we play Leicester at the start of December in the Premier League and then we'll play them again midway through in the Caribou Cup. Both games at home, previous meetings against Leicester. Played them three times, not lost to them yet. Um, the twice that we've played them uh, previously at the uh, um, London Stadium, we have beat them 3-0, beaten 3-0 in the FA Cup quarterfinal um, last season, I think. Yep, was last season. Um, and also in the Premier League last season. Not played them in the Premier League yet this season. A 0-0 draw at um, the King Power Um Last season, but to say, not played them yet this season. So uh, it's uh, an opportunity. We'll be playing them twice in fairly quick succession there. Um, so that's uh, for the future. Let's get back to reality. I have a bit of news. Um, Hulmond looks like he's incoming. Um, and uh, pretty much similar sort of money. 46 and a three quarter million. So we've made a slight profit over the two. Um but it's gone to work permit. 
which uh, we should be all right because he's uh, he is an international so uh, i think we are uh, okay and uh, once we got that decision of course he won't join us until the january window but then uh, paqueta isn't going out until the january window anyway so uh, that is the main thing right um we are literally two days away from the game against newcastle we will come back for that game against uh, newcastle uh, just ahead of it uh, with any more news right so we are on match day but before we uh, head in to have a look at the game uh, we'll sort of round up on uh, what's been happening since uh, we were last uh, here um and uh, the saturday games playing on sunday of course so uh, saturday games have been played liverpool drew with chelsea 1-1 so liverpool's uh, season continues to be a bit uh, jerky at the moment tottenham beating bournemouth by a goal to nil leicester beating luton town 2-1 manchester city their uh, revival seems to be on track beating aston villa who uh, have been up around that top there they've been beaten a 2-0 manchester united having a resounding win against sunderland 5-1 which pushes them up into first place um before we play uh leeds beating norwich by a goal to nil and arsenal beating crystal palace by two goals to nil in a london derby means that manchester united are top um on 23 points arsenal second on 21 we're third on 20 but can uh, get back into position again if we were to win today albeit the goal difference is uh, with their 5-1 win goal difference has been shrunk somewhat aston villa and newcastle also on 20 points so newcastle will leapfrog us and we will drop to fourth if newcastle win today um but uh, hopefully that won't be the case obviously been playing very very well only lost one game so far this season that to uh, crystal palace let's double that if we can manchester city are sixth on 18 chelsea are seventh on 18 and then come Tottenham, uh, Leeds and Crystal Palace all on 17. Norwich, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth in that drop at the moment. One game's been already played today, the early game. Uh, Southampton beating Brentford uh, by two goals to nil. Southampton currently in 14th place. Brentford are in 13th, so just ahead of them in that. So uh, we've got today's game and then Nottingham Forest are playing Everton on monday right without any more to do let's get on with this second game of the episode it's a premier league game a premier league match day 10 i thought i said 11 for a minute 10 um against newcastle previously we've played them five times this series so far not lost to them yet let's not today be the first day i can say that much um and uh we've uh we've Played them in the FA Cup third round, beat them 4-0. Um, Premier League um, at home, uh, this, not last season, but the season before, a 2-0 win. Beat them at um, St. James's Park by two goals to nil uh, last season um, and uh, beat them 5-0 um, here. Uh, at the London Stadium, um, Samadich, Kudos with two, Toddy Bow and Wal Prowse on that occasion, getting us the win today. We are at home, of course, uh, at the London Stadium. Let's hope uh, we can have another result very similar to that. Would be very, very nice. Let's go and have a look at the team then that faces uh, Newcastle. They're uh, without Pavlovic, uh, who's out with a broken lower leg, and we're without Parisi, who's still out with that twisted ankle. And here is the team that faces uh, Newcastle in this Premier League game. Uh, Mazzulia returns to goal. Trubin not convincing me last time out that he's the uh, goalkeeper to have there on a permanent basis. Didn't do himself any favours. Gomez, Toddybo, Upper Meccano and Wagnerman are the uh, defensive line. Suchek, Shalaga. And Wal Prowse in midfield. Samadich is sat behind Bowen and Abraham up front. And then on the bench we have, he says as he's gone too far, pull it up a little bit. Trubin, Zuma, Kudos, Watkins, Vitic, uh, Kahera, Bacata, uh, Friedel and Archie Gray. And here we are back at the London Stadium. One, four of our last five, of course. I'm drawing the other one. 
the day for a 1-2, drawn 2, lost 1, playing a 4-2-3-1 today. Uh, we are third on 20 points, Newcastle fifth, also on 20 points, just better goal difference than them. We have a corner, it's going to be a short one. Wall Prowse to Samadich, Samadich to Bowen, Bowen crosses it deep. Uh, Wagnerman is there, Gomez, Gomez, what's he going to do with this ball out to Wagnerman? Wagnerman in space, Tammy Abraham, he might have been offside actually, looked like it, would be seventh goal of the season if he's onside, is he onside? No. Oh, not much in it, but he's just fractionally gone. Well, they have a free kick. It's uh, 12 minutes on the clock. Isaac. Pulsic. And Pulsic puts it past Mazzulia. And a question of whether he was offside or not. And he looked just as much offside as um, Abraham did, to be fair. Looked like he was in acres of space. And it's disallowed as well. It's all square at nil-nil. In fact, there's a boatload of them offside, including Pulsic. We have another corner. This time, Walprouse is going to fire it in. No short corners. Fired in. It's headed out. Toddy Bow wangs it back in. Walprouse, what's he going to do with this? It's bouncing around. Still got Walprouse there. Toddy Bow. Toddy Bow has Gomez for support. Gomez inside. He punts it away. Ooh. Sure, that's come back off. It was a save by Nick Pope. We'll see it from behind the goal. Probably see it better. Toddy Bow to Gomez. Gomez has a go. It hits a deflector. It's a one of our players. Falls to, I'm not sure who it was, Bowen, I think. And uh, Pope getting a hand to it. Throw in from Gomez. Gomez deep. It's headed on. I'm not sure what's gone on there. It's gone for a corner, I think. Samadich. Samadich swings it in. Suchek! And Pope makes another save. Another corner. Pressure. 16 minutes on the clock. It's going to be a short one this time. Samadich to Walprow. Samadich. Cross it deep. And Pope has saved again. Pope really has kept Newcastle in it at the moment. Another short corner. This time Walprow to Samadich. Samadich back to Walprouse. Walprouse into the area. It's cleared. But uh, Gomez is there. I'm not going to see it. Gomez throws this one in. Suchek heads it on. And uh, I think it was Walprouse who hit that. And uh, Pope managing to get something on it. Well, I'm going to bring you back because we've had a ghost to goal. I thought, we, I thought we'd done with ghost goals back in FM 22 or something like that. But I haven't had one for a while. Uh, but we have had a ghost goal. It's an own goal from Botman um, on 18 minutes. Um, I just saw it come in. I thought, is that a goal? And it noticed at the top it's gone to 1-0. Let's go and have a look at it. Wagnerman out to Appen Meccano. It's a bit jerky. I don't know what's going on. Wagnerman. Wagnerman crosses it in. And uh, Bowen was on the end of it, but Botman putting it away. A free kick now. Toddy Bow. 27 on the clock. Suchek. I think we've got rid of the jerkiness. Um, something to do with something else that was open. Uh, Samadich winning that ball in mid thing. So apologies if that sport your uh, entertainment. Hopefully not. Upper Meccano, Wall Prowse. Back to Upper Meccano. Tammy Abraham, who's deep. Toddy Bow. Toddy Bow to Upper Meccano. As long as we're not going to do anything stupid here. Wall Prowse, Wall Prowse to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham. He's put it away in off the post and has finally got his seventh goal of the season. He's gone over to tell the linesman, do you think that's offside? The linesman uh, having nothing to do with it. Tammy Abraham really started that move. He come deep to win the ball. In off the post, beating Pope. 2-0. Upper Meccano looks like he's... Got cut hand and another goal. Toddy Bow getting his third of the season. And on 34 minutes, go 3-0 up. And uh, 
Well, again, in off the post, Pope getting there late. Corner from that far side, Samadic swings it in. It's in again, Vagaman this time. Falls nicely to him, gets his first goal, maybe his first goal for uh, West Ham, to be fair. 43 minutes on the clock, and we are 4 0 up. We said 5 0, didn't we? And it's going the right way. Gomez with a long throw on that far side to Bowen. 44 on the clock, four minutes of extra time to be added. It's taken a deflection, but Pope is there and uh, collects the ball, thankfully, this time. Highlight is continue. Pope launches one. Toddy Bow underneath that. Samadach brings it down nicely. Abraham heads it on, looking for Bowen. Back out to Abraham. Wall Prowse to check, recycling it. Gomez. And uh, considering Newcastle have been one of the informed sides this year. Abraham! Oh, thought that had gone in for a minute. No more highlights this side of half time. Uh, I, was, I was about to say in that last uh, highlight. Uh, bearing in mind that Newcastle have been one of the informed sides uh, this season so far, um, we've uh, definitely uh, had the better of them in that first half and uh, really should have taken the lead after eight minutes. But Abraham offside, Pulsic could have had one uh, for Newcastle on 13, but he was well offside. Um, but uh, an own goal from Botman sort of broke their barrier uh, after a round of uh, absolutely fantastic saves by Pope. Uh, but uh, having got that goal in front uh, 11 minutes later, Abraham on 29, Toddy Bo on 34, um, and Wagnerman on 43. Uh, Walt Prowse getting two assists, and Samadich having a good game as well. Uh, 19 shots, we've absolutely peppered them. Uh, 12 of which have been on target, 3.26 on the old XG, 49% of the possession. We've not had bulk of the possession. You would have thought with 19 shots and 12 on target, we would have done. They've had two shots, two on target, 0.34, 51% the possession. Not a bad first half. And Trippier with a free kick, 46 minutes on the clock. It's gone over the top, though. Oliver with a free kick, 53 minutes on the clock. And uh, the goal difference, of course, a big help as Manchester United close the gap. Oh, Pope making another save, gone for another corner. Pope has really kept, this could have been a cricket score. Pulsic has gone off now. We're going to have a short corner here. Samadich to Walprouse. Walprouse to Samadich. Samadich flicks it on, creating a bit of space. Uh, Suchek, Xavier, Upper Meccano, Gomez. Gomez out wide to Todibo. Todibo crosses it in. Uh, but Botman heads it down to Pope. And we'll see Pope's save again. Gomez oh, off the post. And with 65 minutes on the clock, not wanting to upset the balance of the team too much, but Shalaga, out of everybody, has been the, the uh, player who hasn't played the best today. Uh, we've replaced him with Thilo Carrera. Carrera, who's come on in midfield, Abraham. Up on Meccano, back to Abraham, who's deep again. Abraham flicks that through, trying to get Samadic away. But Abraham wins that ball. Oh, Pope getting a leg out again. Goodness me, that man has saved Newcastle time and time again. Samadich to the near post, but nobody there. Samadich will pick it up, though. Samadich, Suchek. Suchek tracks back. Kahera, Todibo. Abraham and uh, Abraham instrumental in this. Poor ball, but uh, because he lost it, he decided he was going to have it back. And uh, he got a deflection and Pope just managing to get a boot to it. And with 77 minutes on the clock, making two more changes. Gerard Bowen has had a good game. We're just going to rest him. Uh, Kudos, Mohamed Kudos comes on for him. And uh, we've also taken off Thomas Suchek and brought on Archie Gray. And with 85 minutes on the clock, we're making our final two changes. Uh, we've taken off Ward Prowse, brought on Martin Vidic in midfield. And at the back, uh, we have taken off uh, Gomez, who's had a great game, um, and replaced him with Friedel. Well, no more goals in that second half. We've done the damage in the first half. And uh, a 4-0 win it is. Uh, Nick Pope getting a player of the match. I said that he'd had an absolutely stonking game there. Kept us out 
I don't know how many times he kept it. Well, we had 25 shots, 12 of which were on target, 4.26, uh, 52% of the possession. They had three shots, just got one in that second half, um, two of which were on target, 0.37, and 48% of the possession. It's a good day. It's a good win. And uh, it uh, will put us back on top of the table. And that comprehensive win against Newcastle puts us back on top. Uh, seven wins, two draws and a loss. That loss to Liverpool on the opening day of the season. 19 goal difference, four better than Manchester United, who are on the same amount of points as at the top on 23 points. Arsenal are third on 21. Um, then come Aston Villa and Newcastle, both on 20. Manchester City on 18, along with Chelsea and Tottenham leads. And Crystal Palace just outside of the European places on 17 points. Norwich, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth in the drop zone as it is at the moment. 6, 4 and 1 respectively. And uh, that is how it stands as we come to the end of the episode. We're going to come straight back. We have a game against Feyenoord in the Champions League league phase. Halfway stage. Um, a game that uh, if we can win, we've won all four of our opening games of the uh, uh, competition and then we have a game against Tottenham a London derby uh, our history against Tottenham not uh, well we won two lost two basically uh, lost to them both at the uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium well, we are at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this time let's uh, see if we can get our first win of the series um, at their place uh, which would be rather good then we're going to play Everton offline we're going to come back or do we do it mm, I'm not sure whether we do Everton and Liverpool or Liverpool and Luton Town. Let's see how it uh, how it pervades, um, and then we'll be doing uh, something like uh, Bayer Leverkusen and Bournemouth, Leicester and Southampton, or it might be that we do Nottingham Forest and Bayer Leverkusen. Let's see. We might do a Merseyside derby, Everton and Liverpool, possibly. Um, we'll see. We'll work it out before we get there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button, keeps you up to date with all future episodes of Irons in the Fire and our other series, bottom to the top, as they are released. Uh, new episodes of Irons in the Fire are released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And the best way of keeping up to date with what's happening on this channel is to follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Just Offside 2 Hope to see you for the next episode. It's uh, episode 57. It's out on Thursday. Until then, have yourselves a good week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.